Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The success of the Ripple Coin, XRP, XRP Whales, and other cryptocurrency investors are on the cusp of making a fortune. No one can remain mute about the reality that XRP Ripple is ready to pump in response to the scathing criticism directed by John Dion and the attorney who supports XRP. What is happening at this moment, exactly? Your mind will be completely blown by this. So, what is happening at this point? Man of Congress for any bearer of XRP Ripple, Warren Davidson has repeated his desire to oust Gary Gensler from his post as chairperson of the Securities and Exchange Commission. It's been seven years since Gensler took over in that role. Astounding as it may be, please explain why this is such a big deal. In doing so, I will be able to increase the reach of the Bitcoin community. One reason Gary Gensler isn't popular in the Bitcoin community is that he supports stricter regulations regarding cryptocurrency. Jr. has indicated his belief that the cryptocurrency market needs a higher level of surveillance since he has taken a position that is inclined toward placing Bitcoin efforts under the control of the SEC. He says he wants to ensure that the securities industry continues to abide by the laws that have been put in place to safeguard investors. This, he claims, is his objective. Some in the Bitcoin community worry that this could stunt the industry's development and slow the spread of new ideas. They see this as a possible roadblock to creativity. For instance, Jenner has voiced worry over the lack of investor protection and transparency in the cryptocurrency market, suggesting that many tokens have the potential to be categorized as securities and thus should adhere to legislation. Several cryptocurrency initiatives and their operations may be affected. If they don't qualify for an exception, of course. According to Gensler, the SEC is concentrating on checking whether or not the exchanges where these securities are traded are following the law. The next paragraphs feature an excerpt of one such remark given by Gensler, as per the rules we've set. The SEC mandates registration for all trading platforms that facilitate the purchase and sale of these securities. This is because we dislike them and are afraid of what might happen if we interact with them. Because of his efforts to investigate and prosecute cryptocurrency initiatives and businesses that he believes are not in compliance with applicable securities laws. Others worry that this could threaten the decentralized character of cryptocurrencies and the industry's ability to innovate. These people are now visible in the blockchain space. Members of the Bitcoin community have provided a wide range of responses to the SEC's latest enforcement action. The effects of these reactions go far beyond the original subjects. Several cryptocurrency-related companies have been singled out by the regulatory authority. Companies like Coinbase and the similar Ripple Binance facilitate the buying and selling of cryptocurrencies. The Crane Cryptocurrency Exchange has become the latest casualty of a legal dispute, joining a growing number of companies who have lost money due to this matter. Dion, the creator of crypto legislation, has expressed his displeasure with the way millennials are behaving, calling himself a unreasonable and uncompromising regulator. Due to the nature of the cryptocurrency exchange industry, Ken mistakenly believed that the company had avoided conflict with the Securities and Exchange Commission by settling previously stated accusations. Dion, indicating that Junior was aware of this for failing to properly register its investment as a service program, led Ken to believe that she was attempting to avoid problems with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. People do this for the financial and reputational benefits of participating in a blockchain network. During the month of February, the Securities and Exchange Commission issued claims against Ken to put it another way. Active staking is equivalent to the Securities and Exchange Commission's proposal that you invest your Bitcoin tokens in a mutual fund. After careful analysis, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC found that Ken Staking Service was eligible for a transaction involving investments. In an effort to settle these accusations, Crane has agreed to pay a $30 million punishment after the SEC said it needed to be registered properly. He also claims that Ken would have had to spend more money to fight the SEC. The penalty will be paid by Crane as well. In addition, as Dion pointed out, I wished for them to go to war. On the other hand, if you are interested in armed conflict, 
$30 million will get you only so far, even if you are lucky. Gripple and Brad Garland House, who have spent over $150 million on legal fees so far and still owe millions, should be questioned about their financial stability. Neither the rationale nor the process that led to the settlement decision were explained to him, he added. On the other hand, he expressed confidence that measures like layoffs have been addressed within. I can see why a company may decide to treat its employees or investors poorly if its leaders think that $30 million will buy them peace and keep brilliant individuals employed. It's unfortunate that Jenner has zero interest in them. After giving it some thought, Dion concluded that he was a disgrace and was looking forward to watching his decline. The most recent enforcement action taken by the agency against Kevin, as stated by U.S. Representative Warren Davidson, suggests that Gensler should be fired as soon as possible. I am intrigued by the ramifications this may have on XRP's ripple. Gary Gensler's departure from the Securities and Exchange Commission may have far-reaching consequences for XRP and the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. This is especially true when one takes into mind the opinions that he held on cryptocurrencies throughout his stint as chairman of the SEC. While Jr. was employed by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the agency had a fairly strict approach on some cryptocurrencies, notably with regard to the classification of certain cryptocurrencies of securities. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, where Jenner worked at the time, has filed suit against the company on the grounds that XRP is an unregistered form of securities. There was a lawsuit filed against the company. Considering the impact this legal dispute has had on public perception of XRP and its market price, the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC, attitude toward cryptocurrencies may change after Gensler resigns. This may be the case depending on the individuals who fill Gensler's shoes and how they articulate their views on digital assets like XRP. This is due to the fact that the Bitcoin market is extremely volatile. It is possible that a more accommodating stance could be taken by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC under new leadership, or that more transparent laws will be implemented, both of which would be good for XRP. Potentially positive effects on the coin standing and the market's performance are possible as a result. For instance, if the team's coach quits when the players are young, the new coach may bring a new philosophy to the position. The on-field dynamic of the club may change due to the new coach's penchant for a more defensive style of play. Similarly, a shift in the SEC's leadership might affect the agency's approach to regulating cryptocurrencies which could affect XRP standing and behavior on the market. It is important to remember, however, that changing regulations is a slow process. And the fallout from Gen Z's exit could not be simple or instantaneous. The regulation of cryptocurrencies is complicated by a wide range of factors, and any modifications to these regulations are usually subject to a lengthy review and implementation period. If you would like to express your thoughts on the probability that the XRP Ripple currency may attain its all-time high as a result of this, please do not hesitate to write a comment below. I am interested in hearing your opinions on this topic. The revelation that Gary Gensler would be leaving the SEC office set in motion a chain reaction of consequential events. The whale suddenly started delivering millions of XRP to its intended address. Ripple coins, which belong to the realm of cryptocurrencies, are currently in circulation. A whale is someone or some entity that possesses a large quantity of a certain coin. Because of their control over a substantial quantity of digital assets, these people or businesses can be compared to the market's strong hitters. When these whales trade or interact on a large scale, it can affect the market and cause prices to fluctuate significantly. According to Whaler, a group assumed to be prominent in the market, the actions they take have the power to sway other traders into occasionally altering the general market attitude. Yesterday saw yet another massive deal, and Ripple Labs was a part of it. This was a very important deal, one of several. More than 52 million XRP were sent by Ripple today to the cryptocurrency exchanges known as Bitstamp, where they were listed for sale. In light of the state of the market today, this transaction is worth around $32 million. There was a modest drop in the price of XRP, 
but still enough volume to cause 85 million XRP to be moved from one anonymous wallet to another. This occurred despite the fact that the price fell significantly. In light of the fact that Wales which is considered as one of the most significant participants in the cryptocurrency sector is answerable for the transfer of a sizable quantity of XRP. Garner keeps close tabs on their actions, which may be indicative of a firm belief in XRP's future possibilities. In the far future, people may perceive a ripple as a sign of assurance in their current course of conduct. Large transactions like this one have the potential to stimulate the market, which might raise interest among investors and boost the price of XRP. This is why the effect is so strong. It's analogous to when a famous person endorses a product and the public views it in a more positive light. We've finally reached the end of the video, and if you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. See you later, bye.